Good morning everyone, this is Monkey Boy, and I am here standing in front of a lava pit. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful lava pit, and we really need to do something with this. We need to determine how we're going to build our blacksmith slash smeltery. Now I've had some ideas, I've played with some ideas, but nothing really hit, nothing really hit where you're like, I have to do that. I need to do this particular thing to make it look just amazing. All right, I need to put some stuff away. My inventory is just in shambles. Uh, I left a lot of things over at the zombie spawner because I just got done getting it complete. Um, for the most part, I might be missing a few things because I'm kind of in a rush. I'm reporting to you um, from the past. Yes, you are the future and I am the past. So there's a few things that I needed to do to go on the trip and this is one of them and that's do some videos. All right, so here we go. And with that being said, you just gotta be careful. There might be a little bit of um, things that don't make sense. Maybe 1.9 has been fully released by now. I don't know because I'm in the past and you know. So you know more, way more than I know. Which I know that's normal. I know that's a normal thing for you to know way more than I. And I'm okay with that. I think that's all I want to put away just for now now. Alright, so let's take a look. Now we have a new path here or the start of a new path. So we're gonna go ahead and go up this way, pop up this way, and I'm not sure how we're gonna do it, but we're still kind of back in the old times, you know? That's where this setting is. It's back in the day. We don't quite have roads, we just have trampled down grass and demolished trees. Now this is where you go down. When I took you guys to the spawner last episode, but we're going to step past that. I'm going to keep it open because there's still some really good caves there. And let's go ahead and just keep stomping. Now we knocked out this hill. Now again, we're, we're still back in the day. So this doesn't look too, too pretty. And I love the music. Just, it's so, so good. So this is a tunnel. Guys, this is a tunnel made by one of these. And one of these right here okay all right so we're walking past here and the path we haven't finished this path but let's just give it a little bit of character here let's see it's gonna go back this way all right and there wouldn't be any tall grass Ooh, ouch ouch let's not do that all right all right there wouldn't be any tall grass of course especially through the path oh I like the way that that shapes out where it kind of goes one way and goes the other I mean you know we're just kind of like having a good time there's no rush like today's world where it's like gotta go straight towards gotta go gotta go gotta go I'm in a hurry to get things done all right so this ladder now is the new entrance to the zombie spawner so let's go ahead and go down here and check it out maybe just a couple torches on the walls here hi I'm gonna be I'm gonna develop a very bad habit of leaving iron just everywhere. It's gonna be horrible. Alright, so here we go. Boom! We're inside the new killing chamber with the enchantment area. Got some redstone lamps back here, and all we did was pop like just popped a switch up in there. That's it. Pretty simple. Bam 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 bang. And it's all lit up. Same on that side. Okay, now we still have the piston blocker up there above, but we only have one button. Did you see that? You almost can't even see that, can you? There's one button to run the system instead of two buttons, which is super fantastic. There is another secret button right here. Haha. <laughs> see, andesite, when you use andesite, it, it, it hides in buttons. You gotta really be looking. Excuse me. <clears throat> you gotta be really looking for them bad boys. So this button here runs all the killing functions. So hit the button. 
The piston came out, the lava came out, and they're getting killed right here, okay? Now, the thing about it is, is I can't show this because I went back to the pre-release 2 where uh, the spawner is not working properly. <laughs> Mojang. Um, but here's the thing. So, the piston is forward. How I know is this light's on because that's how we designed it. So, to pull the piston back, just hit the button again. Now, my only concern about that would be they drop down and touch that lava before it disappears. So I'll have to test that once I revert back or they fix the problems with 1.2 pre or pre.2. <laughs> Alright, so this button here is pretty fancy. That turned off the power to the lights surrounding the spawner we did last episode. So instead of a switch, it's a button now. <laughs> and then that button uh turns on this lamp as well so this lamp indicates that the spawner is all lit up and it will not spawn perfect i love it so let's go check out the inner workings in the back now there's a couple things that we're doing you know just the little monkey boy colors with orange and black right i think it looks pretty slick i think it looks wonderful it's comfortable for me and i love it if you guys have any ideas or any more suggestions let me know all right, so we're dropping down just for now, and I got a lot of junk in here. Close your eyes. You know, all my building supplies and all the other stuff from breaking chests. But we just ran the, the hopper straight down beside these chests. And it's now underneath their, the killing chamber. So what I ended up having to do is take this wall closer to us by one block. And now it's a little tighter back here. But I mean, what are we going to be doing? We're just here to get some XP. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be huge like I built in the past. Now I do have an idea for for an XP farm on a spawner. If I can find one a little higher up in elevation. But um, this one's just the tight getter done. Easy access and that's why I popped this in here. And uh, alright so there's, there's the chest. Now we will revamp this just not today. We just, we're going to do a better job, maybe a filtration system, that kind of thing. Because, man, in hard mode, the armor off these mobs, it just comes really, really fast. All right, so here's the inner workings, and here's how we made this work. Um, the first thing that it was kind of tricky, obviously, we got to do the mob softener off the button. And that's traditionally how you're going to do it. You're going to push a button, it's going to do some mob softening. And we kind of showed this last episode. But here's the trick. The trick is to get that piston to stay out there um, during the process. And so we use a T flip flop. Mm -hmm. And a T flip flop, what it will do is it'll take a just a pulse signal and turn it into a steady signal. Right? And how that works is because this signal, there is a sticky piston right underneath here, right? And just because there's that sticky piston, as soon as that signal hits that sticky piston, it's going to shorten that signal. And by shortening that signal, this piston, which is sticky as well, will leave this block out here. Because it's such a short signal, it kind of forgets that block and leaves it out there which then pulls the power from this torch through the block after it's in the corner so it'll be like out here right and then this pulls the signal up and around and that piston is now extended beautiful easy 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 it's so simple so beautiful um, not even that expensive you know a couple sticky pistons you just have to have some stickies mm -hmm. and then same with the light same thing, T flip flop. Now the reason why I went with this T flip flop, there's a couple designs, but the main reason for this one is the fact that it's just quick. Like by the time you hit the button, it's like so so fast. Um, and 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 it's the fastest that I'm I know of. I mean, if there's a faster one, please let me know. But anyway, so that's that's the inner workings back here. Um, everything is pretty much set up, um, and then the light. You know the lights a pretty simple idea um, that block when it goes forward it then would carry the signal coming out of this torch into that repeater continuing it on to the light so that's how that all works pretty pretty cool stuff 
Okay guys, time to do something else. Back here at the lava pond. Time to make our smeltery slash blacksmith area here. So we're going to need some furnaces. We're going to pop six furnaces in here. Now the six furnaces are going to be all manual operation. The blacksmith is, has to work. Has to do some work around here. But there will be iron and gold, that kind of things, coming up through from down below. And uh, that'll be probably later on we'll get all that set up. But right now, we just want to look at the furnace setting and, and get this thing rolling. So there's the furnaces. But we're not going to be able to see the furnaces because this is going to be more of a blacksmith feel to things. So we're going to drop the lava straight down over those guys. Maybe, just maybe, we'll get some of the netherrack lit up. So we got our fire looking type situation. Um, looking to use the cracked brick just because uh, it looks like it's been it's been around heat for a while so let's see if we can make this look pretty good like a oven type rounded top to it it's gonna be somewhat difficult we're gonna have to use a little bit of the stair action and then a little bit of the slab action just to get more of a rounded look to it so maybe there Mm-hmm. Maybe over here and there. Oh, we're gonna lose some items here if we're not careful. And we did, because we're that good. Boom, there we go. So maybe, maybe we just skip that, uh, that slab right there. And maybe we just go ahead and do, oh yeah, let's do this. Boom. I keep forgetting about the middle, middle click deal. All right, so we're down here. We're gonna need some stairs maybe. So let's get some stairs here and let's go maybe around this way. And then that'll get us to where it's like, boom, working in fire, reach all the furnaces that we need. I'm almost wondering if we even wanna use iron bars maybe. I mean, it'll connect there and it'll come around. Maybe that's all we need is, is that simple of a thing. I think it looks pretty good. I like it. All right, let's leave that the way it is. Now I'm going to take this out just because I don't like the way those iron bars are connecting there. Mm. So let's go ahead and clear this out. Maybe we can go ahead and get some of this. Pop it in here. Sweet. Yeah, middle click is amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and dig this out. And then maybe... No, that's fine. Let's get one of these. Oops, that was not middle click that time. Got to get used to it, I guess. Maybe if we go just round this out a little bit. How's that look? Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. So the stairs come up and around. But also, they walk all the way through. Because I started digging it out and I realized, well, early in the game, this cave came up and around. So check that out. So it goes to the storage area, which I might officially make this the storage area. It might be where we decide to keep all our goods, depending on where a lot of the buildings come in at. All right, so we're gonna keep grass down here. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, we're gonna work on some walls with some stone stuff. And down through here, I think grass would be good too. So let's get on to the other part of a blacksmith. So we can heat the metal, we can work the iron, we can do that kind of thing but we need to be able to pound it on an anvil, right? Absolutely. And you're gonna need a cauldron to work with. Reason for being is you need to be able to dip it in some water. You go hot, cold, hot, cold, that'll harden your metal, make the unbreaking on all your goods. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so let's see. The next thing we want to do is we're gonna set up our enchanting over here, but the enchanting isn't going to be like some mythical, magical type enchantment. So we want to hide all this bookshelves and all this, this crazy stuff up in the ceiling. So let's put that up there for now. Now we won't be able to reach it until we take out this block, but let's see what we can do. So if we go one, two, three on that side, we got to use at least 15 of the bookshelves. But I want to keep them mostly out of sight. Yo. Mm, can we go, yeah, right here. Mostly out of sight, because again, it's not about that. It's about working the metal. All right, so that should be the 15. So the test here is gonna be, let's go ahead and use this damaged bow. Yeah, we can get to 30, so that's perfect. 
All right, let's see. What else do we need to do? We pretty much just need to make this disappear. And I want to do it maybe like this and see if that that shouldn't hurt anything and then maybe another one right maybe there let's see now let's knock out this block because this anvil will be in here hmm we're gonna have to change our mind on on the cauldron being right there maybe we'll do two cauldrons let's go ahead and take the water out and let's go ahead and move the cauldron over put it off to the side and then maybe we'll do another one off to the side, but then we can reach up in there and we can get to the enchantment table. So it's gonna be hidden. I think I'm gonna like it. I think it's gonna be really, really nice. Um, <laughs> so under all these, let's just go ahead and build this out. Okay, so let's go ahead and just underneath these guys, make all this disappear. Because I'm not sure if I want this room to be anything beyond this point. Or do we just go ahead and fill it in underneath? See, that shouldn't hurt anything. That should all be good. We'll test it and see. Make sure we didn't block any of the, the books talking. And then, let's see. We're going to need one of them, some more stairs here to hide this. Uh-oh. We're out of stairs. Man, we've, we've done so much caving. There's so many caves just lit up. Waited, waiting, waiting for all the iron and gold that we can give it. So on the way, we found this zombie spawner. I've been talking about this a little bit. I want to show you guys what kind of cool stuff is in here. We've got our first name tag, more armors. Of course, we don't know where any horses are, which would be kind of weird if we don't have horses. More armor, another name tag, everything we need, everything we want. Love it. So this is actually closer than the other zombie spawner, but I don't know that I want to use it. I was hoping that we would have ourselves a skeleton spawner by now. Ooh, there was lava down there, and I tried to kill myself. All right, so how do you get back home? Where is home? I think home is this way because I want to show you guys how far that is one but two I wanted to show you what else we got going on because being able to smell all these things looks very familiar over there all this looks very familiar hmm I'm not sure but to smelt we're gonna have to smell all this stuff that we've gathered here in this cave and I think I'm lost I think monkey boy got us all lost what's the best way to find your way when you're lost oh yeah I'm always lost when I get here every time I get lost I've seen this over and over and over because I get to this point can never find my way out where is the way out? That's not it. Can I go up here? I need to go down somewhere. I need to go down to where there's obsidian and then there's a strip mine. Why? Why do you... Why do you not know where you're going ever? This is how I play the game though. I mean, just walk in circles. Looks pretty awesome. I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. All right, let's try something else. No, not something else there. All right, let's see. I think right down this way, come around, and then there's strips, mines. All right, so here we go back towards our base. And there's still lots of stuff in here, too. And I'm not really going to use this strip mine right away. It's more of a hub to be able to clear out the, the caves. Once I get, oh, you still hear some, there's some still some dark caves in there. Once I get all the caves just taken out of every, all the goods there are, then we may really go to town on these strip mines. So this is like, I hope I'm going the right way. There's no way I'm going the right way. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, I am so much going the wrong way. 
Look at me go. I got us turned around and we're going the right direction. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Here's the big strip mine. This is the hub. This is basically where it's all gonna happen. We're gonna make a way to get all of our, our ores to go up that way towards the smelter. And we'll work on this a little bit. I wanna make this look kind of fun and fancy. And it goes all the way down. I'm not sure, maybe 200 blocks that way. And these aren't even dug out yet. They're futuristically ready to be dug out. But I, I think I went 300 blocks that way and then I ran a path all the way along this 200 blocks again so we know where the stopping point is. So once we empty out all the ore that we have, then in all the caves that we found so far, then we really need to get some stuff. Then we can start running down the strip mine and getting it ready to go. All right, let's go back to the surface. I've been waiting to smell all this gold and all this iron for this moment right now. Yep, pretty excited. All right, so let's just go ahead and fill these guys up with a little fuel. And it's just going to be the basic old boring smelting process for now. But trust me, as we evolve, technologies will grow and we'll do some other things for sure with this. So there we go. We've got the smelter going. And then we're going to have um, also an opportunity to do some other things. Once this is all ready. Ooh, that's where I missed. I missed part of the furnace. I knew I did it. I was missing one and I couldn't figure out which one. But there we go. We've got them all going. So we will have iron ready to go. And here I have finished up this area with a little crafting table. You've got your water source continuing to refill the cauldrons as needed. And you got the anvil ready to go. A little light back in here. And then easy as can be, you can still get to your enchantment hidden away. So you grab your sword, you get it beat up, you get it knocked around on the anvil until you come out with something really good. Now this isn't a sword, I know, but the bow will get us to a level 30. So we know that that's working perfect. We got little workbenches off to the side with storage underneath, ready to go there as well. Um, as you can see the entrance into the cave, that'll probably be the new entrance. I left this unfinished because we will be bringing mine carts up to uh, empty our mine full of all the ore and all the good stuff. And as the sun sets here on Mumkey Town, you can see the beginnings here of our environment we got a home we've got land we've got some animals and now we're able to build all the iron all the smelting all the blacksmith things we need i think we're rolling pretty good we got xp to be able to do the things that we need and now we can get on to some other things guys i hope you enjoyed this episode i've enjoyed making this episode i'm going to see if i can get a couple more pre-recorded for my absence over the next month i if you did enjoy this episode, knock out that thumbs up and we'll just go ahead and kill this guy. That's a good ending. Bye bye.